Coach Al Miller was born in 1947 in El Dorado, Arkansas. During his early years, Al enjoyed playing boys club baseball, football, and basketball. During high school, he lettered three years in football and track, setting the high school pole vault record of 13 feet. After graduating from high school in 1965, Al received a football scholarship to Northeast Louisiana University, where he lettered four years and set nine school records for receptions during his career from 1966 to 1969. Now, during this time, he was also a two-time all-conference recipient. After graduation, Al was commissioned as a second lieutenant of the U.S. Army in 1970 and later became a captain in the Armored Division. That same year, Miller began his coaching career at Lee Junior High School in Monroe, Louisiana, where he stayed three years as the football, track, and strength coach. From there, he moved to Woodlawn High School as a defensive coordinator and strength coach for two years. In 1975, Al moved to Northwestern State University as linebacker coach and strength coach and stayed there through 1979 when he moved into a private health club and fitness equipment business in Waco, Texas. That same year, Coach Miller took his first full-time strength and conditioning coaching position at Mississippi State University finishing out the 1980 season. From there, he moved to Northeast Louisiana University and then to the University of Alabama in 1982 as a strength coach under the legendary head football coach, Paul Bear Bryant. Three years later, he took his first NFL job with the Denver Broncos. During his eight-year stint, the Broncos participated in four AFC championship games, three Super Bowls, and one Pro Bowl. At this point, he took a position with the New York Giants for four years, followed by the Atlanta Falcons. He worked for the Falcons for nine seasons, during which time they participated in two NFC Championship games, one Super Bowl, and one Pro Bowl. He retired in March of 2006 after completing 21 NFL seasons. During Coach Miller's outstanding career, he received the following awards. In 1981, elected to the Northeast Louisiana University Golden Anniversary Football Team. In 1992, inducted into the Northeast Louisiana University Hall of Fame. 1993, Al was the recipient of the President's Award for NFL Strength Coaches. In 1998, Coach Miller received the NFL Strength Coaches Emrich Ricca Jones Award, which is especially meaningful to him because of his coaching experience with Coach Stan Jones at the Denver Broncos. 2004, he was voted NFL Strength Coach of the Year. And 2005, he was inducted into the USA Strength and Conditioning Coaches Hall of Fame. Al was married in 1968 to Janice Brandon, who was a cheerleader and student government representative at Northeast Louisiana University. They've been married for 39 years and have two children, a son, Carrie Brian Miller, who lives in New Orleans, and a daughter, Lisa Marie Clark, who lives in Buford, Georgia. Lisa is expecting the Miller's first grandson, who is due to arrive on the 1st of May. His son, Brian, continues to be his favorite fishing buddy. Of his involvement in strength conditioning and training as both an athlete and a coach, Coach Al Miller has been quoted as saying, my interest in strength training goes back to the days when I was in junior high school and began to lift weights. I became instantly hooked on how the progress I made carried over to sports. I've lifted ever since then. My goal in strength training and coaching was to win the championship each and every year and to try and put together the proper strength, speed, flexibility, and conditioning program to raise each player's ability and guard against serious injury. My search for such knowledge led me to meet some of the most knowledgeable people in the field, many of whom are with us tonight. One of those people, another legend being honored this evening, Coach Al Vermeil often refers to Al Miller as the John Wayne of strength and conditioning, the Duke.